Now we do use a, a, an automotive style filter, but it is not an automotive filter. It's one made specially for Rotax uh, by Champion. Now <clears throat> you do want to make sure that you use the Rotax filter because it has a higher bypass ratio uh, pressure release valve than a standard automotive uh, oil filter. And that's because in a standard automotive filter, they don't anticipate that their customers will start up their engine in the morning, let it run for maybe two minutes, and then firewall it and leave it there. And that is what we anticipate many of our customers will do. And what that does is it, it puts a, <clears throat> a tremendous strain on the oil system. It goes to a pretty high pressure when the oil isn't quite up to full temperature yet. And if you have a, a automotive filter, you will be bypassing uh, the filter system with at least some of the oil, which means if there's any debris in the system, it'll get by the filter element. With the Rotax filter, with its higher uh, bypass setting on the valve, as long as you have about 120 degrees Fahrenheit oil temperature, you will not go into bypass. And that is why our minimum oil temperature for takeoff is 120 degrees. Also, you notice that on this picture, we have a, uh, a, a little bit of uh, sabotage uh, uh, marker on that to make sure that it hasn't turned since it was put on. Rotax is now being fairly specific about how they want you to tighten that filter. Uh, they want you to spin it on, of course lubricate the, uh, the filter gasket, spin it on until it makes solid contact and I find that to be about one-eighth of a turn past when it initially touches and then go 270 degrees of rotation and if you do it like that uh, your filter will not come off and uh, you'll, you'll have some, some good, good results.